Uh, great day going the, on. The guys. weather was beautiful. The weather was great. What else, man? Like the fucking vibes were immaculate. Like the people were were cool. They were dapping us up, and like yeah, everything was was going great. Like I couldn't actually imagine a better day. And then, dude, it goes fucking one eighty. All right, guys, we're back on Mastered Podcast. This is the last podcast in our OG studio. Can you guys believe it? It's, it's crazy. crazy. These guys are moving. It's been over a year of doing Unmastered Podcasts. I'm so grateful for all you guys who've been tuning in, you know, liking, subscribing, doing all that jazz. It's fucking sick. And, you know, we're here and, uh, you know, we're going to go through all of our podcasts, you know, all of our experiences, our videos, what's next, all that kind of good stuff. And yeah, it's kind of crazy, you know? Yeah, we, before we get You guys are moving. Yeah. Like, I mean, before we get started again, yeah, just click that subscribe button, guys. Appreciate the support. Drop a like, drop a comment. Go check out all of our socials, yep. Instagram, TikTok, all that kind of stuff. The audio platform, Spotify, uh, Apple Podcasts, whatever. Yeah. Um, but appreciate all the support, guys. And uh, yeah, man, last podcast in this room, like where we crazy. started, like you said, a little bit over a year ago, February 2022 yeah. is around when we first uh-huh. dropped our first podcast. That was it. Um, and yeah, man, we're here. What is it? It's August, 2023. A little bit more than a year. Um, doing crazy. This a lot of great memories here. I always say it, billion dollar, billion dollar ideas were filmed in the studio, talked about a bunch of great people visited uh, a bunch of people, you know, being going to be successful in the future. Yeah. Whoever's living in this house after <laughs> you're going to be living in a gold mine, man. That'd be dope. Like, holy shit. You can watch back yeah. these episodes. And yeah, see yeah, they right won't now. even know. They won't even know what was done huh. here. Yeah. And uh, but the one thing I won't miss <laughs> though, why won't they know? <laughs> they won't even know that Tiags was in the oh, backyard. Oh yeah, they won't like, know. They won't. Yeah, they won't yeah. know the front house. Yeah. But yeah, the front of the house was never really exposed. I guess like in some of your videos. Why did they need to know the front of the house? Because like how they know like the exact address. Oh, we left them a nice little note when they moved in and said, "Look, Unmastered Podcast was in here, so like it's sacred." Yeah. There you go. Okay. So there you go. That, that'll do it. Yeah, Maybe yeah. leave like a little time capsule yeah, box yeah. in the yeah. yard. One thing or I won't miss though is the sun. A little feel a bit like we're always yeah. dying, and you're oh fuck. Well, it's yeah. like hopefully <laughs> still feels not the sun. I'm feeling, man. That's why we're in these. I was gonna right say now. you oh, guys fuck, actually man. have a sauna in here, so I was like, yeah. okay, yeah, he's gonna miss his sauna. And we look but this same. is this is a sauna. For those of you guys who don't know, this friggin' studio is probably the hottest place on earth, except for like the Sahara Desert. Yeah, yeah. You know, you got a couple places hotter in the world, but this is this is ridiculous. Yeah. Everyone who who would come and do a pod here they'd be sweating, sweating. their balls <laughs> off you know because we've only had guys on the pod yeah. um <laughs> regardless <laughs> like it was it's too fucking hot in here so hopefully the new studio is a lot nicer in terms of air conditioning yeah and you know the ability to like not have to sweat your balls yeah off. we hope so um all the guys who used to come on here on the podcast they wanted their nice fits on the pod you know what i mean like you want to yeah. look good for the podcast yeah, yeah. But in reality, they had to start stripping by the end of it. Like, come on. Shout out They're Dilo. they this guy. <laughs> that's, really, that's a good <laughs> he one. He came. He actually knew. He was prepared. Yeah, yeah Dilo knew the uh, assignment or whatever the fuck. Yeah, yeah, but, uh, you know, we're excited for the next step. The next studio, we're obviously mm-hmm. going to do a, a video about that, you know, uh, planning it out and designing it. That's going to be the fun part about it is yep. making the set and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, it feels like a new chapter for Unmastered. It feels like that was sort of the first chapter, you know, let's say it's like a 12 chapter book or whatever. Mm -hmm. That was chapter one. You know, now we're moving on new studio, new guests, new videos, a new content strategy. You know, the way we're going about this is just at a higher level than it ever was before. feels like that first year was a lot of trial and error, a lot Mm -hmm. of figuring out what works, what doesn't work. And now we kind of have an idea of what could work and we have a a better guess at what could work. And we're going to just, you know, try our hand at it and just go full fledged, I think, going forward. Yeah, for sure. Very like I know John Luca, he loves this like kind of new style of video that we're doing. Like, you know, we're doing like yeah, adventure this, style yeah, videos. Yeah, at this point, you guys would have saw that video that we just released. Fusi video, the all Fusi that kind of stuff. Yeah, Fusi video Crazy that we video. just finished. Holy shit. Hopefully that shit goes well, actually, viral. It's probably out for a month now. Yeah, yeah it's, this it's, pod comes it's been out, out for a while. But like that, yeah. it, we've, we probably maybe have done another one by this point. But yeah. that video is just like another level. Another, Another level of video. To like we had on to. Master University, it's kind of like that vlog style, whatever. Mm-hmm. But like, nah, this is like people in it, influencers in it, people doing things. We're Pussy traveling around. It. Like yeah. it's a whole documentary adventure feel. Cause like we just said, I was just like, let's go out and see what happens on the street. Let's go meet them. Let's go, you know, give them a shirt. We didn't think it's going to be this whole video. No. We just said, let's no. go do it. 
It could have been, we thought maybe that's a five minute video from the beginning. We're going to yeah. do that only thing. And then it turned out into this whole roller coaster and yeah. it made for a great video. So that's it. I honestly think that's probably the strategy we're going to have a little bit more for sure going forward is like, you know, taking those risks when there's no guaranteed outcome towards it. Like we had no idea Fusi was going to even interact with us, period. You know, things like that are a blessing, you know, like we don't know how these things occur. Like even the other day we went to the club. Um, well, by this time, it'll be like a month ago, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. we saw the whole Nelk boys crew there, Kyle and the whole gang. Like, you know, we didn't get a chance to meet them, but it's those kind of things where it's like, wow, like this is actually sort of shaping up to like work out for us a little bit. And all we got to do is put ourselves in a position to leverage those moments. There's, there's going to be a lot of those moments, I think, going forward for us where we meet the Nelk boys or we meet Logan Paul or something like that crazy in the future, right? Like, and it's just up to us to like put ourselves in that position to make ourselves a viable person for them to collaborate with and mm -hmm. not just like say we want to collab, right. but like have ourselves built up to the point where they're like, I already fucking know you guys yeah. and you're sick and yeah. I would love to just collab with you based on an artistic creative level versus I'm doing you a favor. Yeah. So like, I don't, yeah, we're going to get to yeah. that point yeah. probably soon. I mm -hmm. hope like it's going to take time, but yeah. just getting in that mindset. Right. Yeah. And yeah. Nick, you actually talked to Osgod, who is like the videographer, one of the videographers and like editors yeah. for Nelk. And he said to shoot him a DM, maybe he comes on the pod. This is coming out in a month from now. So hopefully we're speaking yeah. to existence. By the time <laughs> this comes out, Osgod either has been on the pod or he connected with him somehow to set up a date. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. anyways, but that's all good. I don't want it to be too irrelevant, this stuff. Yeah, but let's yeah. go on to the journey of so, Unmastered Podcast. Yeah. Start where we started. Let's start it all the way from our first figuring episode. out. No, not even the first okay, episode. Yeah. Like just figuring out that we wanted to do the podcast. Is that what we're doing? And then we can go through the episodes oh and God. then go. Like you don't want to go that no, far. No, I know. We, we can't. might have did it the 10th recap. I don't know. Did we, we do just that real quick thing already? I don't know. But just like figuring out. Okay. We figured out the name, right? That day we couldn't figure it out. Yeah. And we we're going through a bunch of names. A lot of them are stupid. And then John Luca comes up with the name or he had a show. I don't even remember uh, how know? it happened or what even the other ones were. The other ones were stupid, man. Yeah, I had the show. So that's how it started. I don't know if people know yeah. how it started. If you're like a new viewer of Unmastered, you don't know the whole story. But I had an idea. I was writing a sitcom about mm -hmm. three guys living in a house, trying to make content and trying mm -hmm. to do it. I was going off like Lil Dickies, Dave, the show in Atlanta, like a mix of that, which basically they're almost the same show. One's just comedy, but it was that. And it was basically just us, what we're doing, just trying to achieve the goals. Everyone does a different thing and they're trying to make it in the content space. And it was this funny thing. And then we were like, Let's just make a podcast. I don't know why we just said that, but... And we were all doing creative things beforehand too. It's not like it was yeah. our first thing we've done. Like Nick was doing the music well, producing. Yeah. Drew has been doing I, fucking I videos guess, and yeah. movies since he's a kid. And I was doing like Wave Wednesday, weekly vlog shit for my YouTube. Yeah, well, that's why I was writing the sitcom off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of yeah. that stuff. Because yeah, we were sort of already pursuing our own things. Yeah, and, yeah. and then... I, like I, I the, think I, I, was, I was getting into Impulsive and I saw yeah, it yeah, and yeah. I was like wait a second, these people are doing it, but it doesn't seem like it's that crazy. Like yeah. they have the camera, they have a, a few microphones, and then it kind of worked out nicely because we had microphones from doing music yeah. and from recording. And, and John Luca had the camera from Lights. doing films yeah. Yeah. and he had the lighting and we had this a place to do area, it yeah. at this house right here. Uh, so it all kind of like worked out and the stars aligned in that sense. And then, you know, everyone says, everyone has a podcast. But like in terms of our production quality, it was like not like everyone's podcast. Yeah. Just the ability yeah. that we could just go like this, start a podcast. Although we weren't like, we're not known people, um, you know, the fact that we had this, these resources allowed for that opportunity to actually work out instead of it just being like one of those ones that people do like on Zoom or like, mm -hmm. you know, with some shitty mic and like filming it on their phone, which is nothing wrong with that. But it definitely catapulted us a little bit in terms of like guests wanting to come on the show. Mm -hmm. You know, that can, we can kind of get into that, how that sort of helped us with future yeah. pods. But, you know, we started doing our first episode and yeah. it was just like, we didn't even know how to do a podcast. And it was arguments. I, I, I don't even know still if we're like 100%, like we got the formula down <laughs> packed, but like we kind of just went full fledged into it. We didn't even really explain like what this whole thing was about. It was just kind of on the fly. 
And we just were talking about whatever was on our mind that day. Like, I think what was going on the Super Bowl or something. And it was just like yeah. random yeah, stuff. Yeah, like yeah. it was, and then we had like a couple like inspirational, you know, creative comments like throughout the whole thing. And you guys, you know, we all introduced ourselves and yeah. sort of did that for the first three episodes. Yeah, the first three were basically that. Yeah. Like, yeah. Host only. Really changed, that was it. But, and then we um, kind of had the controversy and when the third one, because we went to where uh, I went to St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. And then I was kind of saying how it sucked, like the street parties yeah, 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 yeah. in Laurier University in Toronto. So and that video did then well we, we that clipped clip. that. Yeah, that was our first ever semi-viral clip on TikTok. Because yeah. at that point, we were only getting like a thousand views, you know, not getting many views on TikTok. And that one got a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, yeah, yeah. something like that. And we were like, okay, we figured it out. <laughs> be a little bit controversial yeah get some views you know like and it sort of kind of catapulted like it fucking went crazy after that yeah, yeah. like because then right after that we got chris on yeah. you had your brother on that was a good episode yep that wasn't a bad one i don't know we yeah. just kind of like talked about things our but, first guest episode you know we tried yeah. it out with his brother who's like maybe no one's really gonna want to be on this podcast he's honored to be the, the first, first. yeah um, well. but he helped us out to get well then your friend came on mateo mm -hmm. iorio yep mateo came, came on all that kind of yep. stuff he was a little more of a creative eye because he did the film and all that kind of stuff yeah, so thanks to those guys for actually believing in us and actually yep. choosing to put their face out there online and you know deciding to come on and then, then after we had that, Aurelio on. Chris, friend Aurelio, which is yeah. also, you yeah. know, we knew him. But Aurelio um, really, guy. really changed yeah. our the TikTok. Like he yeah. fucking exploded it. He's yeah, the he second biggest it. podcast For on sure. YouTube, 1.1K. Mm -hmm. And yeah, his that, clips time, both yeah. did well. I mean, a lot of his clips did well, you know, 500K, 200K, yeah. whatever. Millions, there was yeah. millions of views on some of the clips. And that was our first ever million view video period. Yeah. And it was like our fifth episode. Ever. I'm pretty we sure. a million? On yeah, a really we got sure. a, like a million five hundred k for yeah. sure. One of them. Yeah. I think it's one of the ones. Like the DJ not. one or the something. The DJ demands yeah, or yeah, something yeah. was our first ever million. DJ demands. Yeah. <laughs> he was getting recognized at the gym a couple of times. That's so that. weird too. The DJ thing because I don't know how long we talked about the DJ stuff, yeah. but it was more about like his working out and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It was just like little parts we took that like I I don't know maybe we gotta no, start no, doing that good. more, but yeah. like but yeah no the that pod it really blew us up and we were getting I remember I remember when we were sitting there watching. The Aurelio videos go up. Do you remember that we were in your house? Yeah, yeah, and they were just going up, like and we 50K. just kept liking refreshing, and, just, and, and it kept like, going up fifty k, twenty k. My God, dude! Like this thing is like it's at three hundred k now. It's at four hundred k. Literally thirty minutes later. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Which was like holy fuck. Yeah. yeah, and then after that we had episode seven with Nick's pops, Nicholas Loriola, one of Wait, our you buddies. You skipped a bunch of them, didn't you? Uh, no, he was no. right after Aurelio. Oh, was he really? Okay. Um, and you know he brought us his collection, dope yeah. podcast. Yeah. It was great. Um, and then after that, we had one of our longtime friends. Well, not really long time, but we had Aiden Skira, mm -hmm. which was really dope. Our first time meeting him in person. I talked to him before on the phone. Uh, he's a musical artist. Wait, you guys we never even him. met him? Um, no, that was my Wait, first time. Wait, that was our first time meeting, time meeting Skira? Yeah. What no, the that hell? podcast was our first time meeting Skira. That's so yeah. weird. No, because we had like a really, I, I wouldn't say really good relationship, but like we were in touch with it each was other like for online, years. Like yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, 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 yeah. Like Julian was closer with him. Yeah. But like, what the hell? Yeah. And now, you know, I don't even remember it. these things. Like, that's the first that's time, the first time we guy. ever met Skira. What? Wow. And then since that Aurelio pod did well, it caught the eye of Aiden Dale. We reached out to him in like literally 10 minutes. He was Dale's like, yo, I'm down to come on. I've never done a podcast. That was episode nine. The baby shirt thing, you know, the, the clip of uh, who's your favorite Nelk member went yeah. viral. That's yep. like pinned still on our TikTok. Uh, baby shirt video, what, got two, I think it was three million yeah, views. Like that. So yeah, that was, I think, I think that was like second, another step. I was like, yeah. Yeah. sick. Okay. I think our second biggest video yeah. ever yeah. Yeah. on Although TikTok. That's the, that's, on TikTok. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. right? And uh, that um, brought the eyes of TMG. Um, their podcast yeah. clipped that. Crazy. Yeah, because what happened was one that's day, what, I'm, I went to hockey, right? And you guys send me like a fucking message like, yo, bro. Somebody <laughs> said Commented. that our yeah. podcast was featured in a TMG podcast. We were like, holy shit, yeah, that right? Was like, are you fucking kidding me right now? That was insane. Because at this time, yeah, we're, all these videos that we're posting are getting hundreds of thousands of views. So we're like kind of numb to this like virality thing because yeah. our lives really weren't changing that much. But like just the fact that like, you know, getting the millions of views or whatever, it was sick. But but TMG, someone who we like looked up to yep. and watched their videos yeah. for years, mm -hmm. Featuring our podcast was like, holy shit, man. Yeah. And yeah. it wasn't on their main channel or whatever. It was, their Patreon, it was on yeah. their Patreon. So luckily, John Lucas steps up, 
buys the Patreon. Steps up, puts five bucks in, five bucks. gets it. Yeah. But lucky that guy even had the Patreon. It's not even like he was just a fan of exactly. the yeah, yeah, no, Someone, yeah. someone commented yeah. on it or else yeah. we would have never known. Yeah. You know, I think That's otherwise. why like, maybe like another pod has done some shit. We don't I'm know sure, that, man. I'm sure that people mentioned <laughs> us before. but um, And then after that podcast, with Aiden Dale, great guy. We did some more stuff with him um, in future videos yeah. and we wish mm-hmm. to do more. Mm-hmm. So, But yeah, he was cool, great creator. Mm-hmm. All the success to him. And uh, episode 10 was just basically like this episode, a right. recap. Recap, recap. We took a recap of what our first 10 episodes, um, you know, Except in the suits. now when we were like, yo, let's put on suits. And now we're just yeah. like, all right, whatever, let's <laughs> yeah. fucking do it. It was our first outdoor <laughs> pod as well, yeah, which was now, pretty cool. It's out of here. It went from suits to the fucking white <laughs> yeah. beaters and like but a fucking stupid shirt. Who knows? We made it I'm, actually down to <laughs> do, yeah. I'm actually down to more theme stuff like that. I feel like we should have all worn like I love haters. I feel like you guys could have gave me one of yours and I would have just been bulging out of it. obnoxious hat. Yeah. yeah, I love haters. <laughs> yeah. Really. Guys, I used to wear this thing. My, I got it gifted to me like by a family member. No, you like didn't. 10. You that's, bought it. That's and brutal. It you like bought it. Motivation. Let's be real. That is just You awesome. bought that hat. Don't no, tell me no. a fan no. gave you that. Family member. A fan. family member gave yeah, you that. Why I would I haters? buy it? What would a fan give him? Because that? that's something you would buy. Don't tell me you. Jin, I bought a hat when I was younger. No, I bought, his aunt probably. Do you ever remember the hat that I bought when I was younger? It was like a cheetah print. I'm not your boy toy. I had no, that one. No, I'm not your boy toy. I had also, toy these are toy. very sexual fucking yeah, hats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bought You Don't Own Me. Oh, yeah. I, I had that too. hat. You don't remember that? So we did that. And then the next episode right after that, we had our boy Hattie. Was Ooh. he the first time, too, that we met him on that one? Yeah, that yeah. was the first time first we ever time met Hattie, Hattie as well. Yeah. This is insane right now because realize this. So we met all these guys because of the pod, and then now we're close with them. Yeah. It's crazy. These yeah. are the close connects. For sure. These are definitely the closest connects mm-hmm. that we have. Everyone yeah. who came on the pod. Addy was dope. And then and the only that, reason why we kind of connected with, with them is this. We wouldn't have probably have connected any other way. No. Sure, no. you maybe like you tried music, doing music. Bass, yeah. gira, but like, nah, meet with the guy. We had a whole talk with the guy. You know them now. Yeah. Yeah. Insane. And after that brought us to our first ever big guest. We never thought we'd get a guest like this at this level um, in like only our 12th yeah. episode. But yeah. we had the boy Tiags. Yes, sir. Um, you know, all that the viral crazy, TikTok gross. sounds. Tell him the like story about how he came on. Yeah. Well, he, he DM'd us. He, he DM'd, DM'd us. us. Yeah. Because I every morning I would viral check clips. the requests. Yeah. yeah. Um, on our DMs because every day we would get like a new person asking to be on the podcast because we were just pumping out fucking videos. Yeah, I had to yeah. decline so many like, hmm, I don't know. Yeah, no, there yeah. was a lot of people who like you kind of didn't want to have on <laughs> because they were like random, like they had no posts and they like just wanted to come on and they're like sketchy as fuck. Mm-hmm. Um, but and then you had Tiags. But yeah, then Tiags, you know, he sends us this message and we're like, holy shit, wait a second, this guy's verified. And I think that was our first ever verified person yeah. to message us yeah. back then you couldn't pay for the verification so it actually meant something mm-hmm. so and he was crazy. like I'm, I'm i'm in la i'm flying i have to fly back to toronto in order to get to ottawa where he's from so we're like come through he, he, he actually here, whatever with like his bag and shit his fucking clothes and hey guys. we had some food together we were chilled for like an hour before eight and then we did our outdoor pod again yeah. again another great podcast clips did well i you know our first kind of credible guest mm-hmm. and uh yeah, yeah that was, was one of my favorite pods oh, that was insane that one, one of our favorites we just stayed yeah. here and like chilled we with chilled us. we had i think what it was we had lunch before yeah. and like we really yeah. hit it off yeah. and then we had a two and a half hour long podcast talking about the music industry, talking about, you know, his viral stuff. And it's like, for me, I wasn't like the hugest Tiags fan because I didn't know who he was, honestly, yeah. before I yeah, got that yeah. message. But for you guys, you like knew him. Yeah, so it was, it was crazy. Yeah. Um, and for me to just to meet him was really unreal, especially since I was like really heavily into the music at that time. So understanding like the whole music industry, how it works with labels, that was fucking unreal. Yeah. You know, I don't know about you guys. What did you guys get from that one? No, yeah, it was just dope to be kind of in front of someone who's kind of had a little bit of success, you know. He yeah. told us, you know, the numbers he had and the money he's made from his label and all that kind of stuff. So it was dope to learn that. And then the stories, too, about, like, going to L.A. Yeah, first those time stories and, were cool, dude. Yeah. I think that he was, like, one of the guests where it was, like, the first time it was, like, holy, okay, like, here we go. Well, here's some yeah, juicy here's some stories. juicy yeah. shit. Here's yeah, some yeah, real yeah, stuff. Yeah. This guy's yeah. been out there. Yeah. Also, can you just check the time real quick or what we got left? Yeah, we got about seven minutes. So we're okay. good. Yeah, um, Great. yeah, crazy stories, man. Yeah. He, and then after told. that... One of our favorites, um, you know, getting to oh, yeah. experience Wait, this it. This is our first pod, like not at our home, yeah. on the road. Was the boy Alex Weiss at the Rink of Dreams. Wow. It was dope. He showed us the whole place. I knew about the Rink of Dreams beforehand. I don't know if you guys did, um, no. but no, it was dope to no. get that DM. I was in class and like, 
Now I was like telling Nick, yo, like, this whoa. guy's fucking. <laughs> he did that Rink of Dreams last year with like well, Nelk yeah, and yeah, like Aiden he, he Dale sent and us shit. A he sent us a yeah, DM, yeah. a long DM, saying that he was planning on doing an event that with Drake, with people from OVO, with Nav, Nelk. with Nelk, with all these people, and we were like, holy shit, man, yeah. this guy's really well connected. Mm -hmm. And then you know, I didn't know who he was; just he was a regular guy. Yeah. Um, and then we saw his page, Rink of Dreams, that Julian already knew about. Yeah. Um, and I was like, wow, what a beautiful rink this guy has. Fucking amazing. And we ended up, yeah, once again, going to his house, setting it up, doing that pod in the skybox up there. Crazy. And Alex turns out to be such a, like an unreal nice guy, very genuine guy. Um, yeah, it was just so nice. Told that us his, he cool opened stories. his doors to like, let us do it at his house. Yeah. Um, you know, we shot some hoops. It was dope. It was an amazing day for us. Yeah, yeah. Like we were like, wow, this is like, we're actually, we're going places yeah. because of content. Yeah. That was the first ever time I feel like that happened Yeah, you know what? That one was cool. Mm -hmm. That was and really cool. And I had to go cool. work at Tim Hortons right after. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Couldn't stay crazy. I was like, what crazy. am I doing going here yeah. now? I'm back yeah. here. Yeah. yeah. I like rushed. I'm like, sorry, I'll be late. <laughs> and also like Alex was one of those guys who like, he was one of those guys who like manifested stuff. He was like mm -hmm. saying exactly what he was going to do, yeah. which really I think inspired us to, to follow our dreams a little bit more seriously. Yeah. You know, he's, he was successful with the rink of dreams and, you know, putting on an event and, and we'll go even, you know, we'll go into that too yeah. about yeah. that whole event. But who is next? Next was the boy distant matter. Oh, you know, yeah, he came on the pod again, first time meeting him. We knew him from like the app clubhouse, which was like 20, 20 yeah. days during COVID people used to go and talk on there. So really cool getting yeah. to see him the first time in person, another outdoor pod. It was great. And now the boy Distant Matter, man, he performed at Veld um, on the Crazy. stage in Toronto. It was dope. I believe he was like manifesting or he said it on our well, podcast. He said it on there. Plus he, yeah, said, he said he wanted Rufus, Rufus the Soul. He loves Rufus the Soul. And, and then, then that's also happened at Veld. And yeah, the same night. which And was, he asked about you yesterday too, by the way. We saw him at the club. Oh, cool. <laughs> He's like, where's your brother? I'm like, ah, I couldn't make it out. Yeah, no, like but you know, he he was uh, he was dope, and you know, awesome to see him be successful like that too, and you know, achieve those goals that he had. Yeah, man. Um, but yeah, it's dope. That's why it's cool to connect with all these people because you see them coming. You up see with them you coming and, up. Like this is what yeah. this pod's all about. It's about you know mastering your craft and and being on the come up and yeah. making it and yeah. eventually reaching mastery, which is what a guy like Distant Matters approaching now. He's doing those shows that he set out to do. That's something he probably has been dreaming about for years. Yeah. And for him to like, you know, put the effort yeah, in it's insane. and increase his connections, you know, improve his music to the point where he's now on a massive stage like Veld. Yeah. And even I know I think he was performing on a lineup with Loud Luxury in New York. Mm -hmm. So like everything's going well for that guy. All the best to him. Yeah, Hopefully yeah. we can do another pod in the future. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, man, no, that, that that's great. It's just one of those people who their dreams are coming true. Yeah. It's crazy. And after him, episode 15 was DeAndre K. Simon. Yeah. You know, the, he, I believe, no, he doesn't do music. His friend does music, but he did a lot of the movies, well, film stuff, music, too, music videos. He, I think he's one of those guys who does it all. Yeah, he does yeah. it all. Yeah. Very cool. Getting to listen to him. We talked about a lot of, you know, just stuff about the world too. We did. Yeah. That was a really that. Uh, introspective. Is that the Yeah. Right very introspective. I think that was one of our first one? pods that kind of went that, that way a little bit too. Yeah. Like, we never really got yeah. as deep, at, I don't think, as we've yeah, gotten on that one. Yeah, which is kind of cool to do that. Yeah, so that was almost like a therapy session yeah. in a way. It, like, okay, it felt like very, I guess, what's the word, cathartic or whatever, where yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you yeah, feel like yeah. you're you're going through life and like the things you wouldn't re like talk about on a normal day-to-day -day basis, we yeah. kind of covered on that yeah. one. Yeah. So it was emotional, right? Like we're, you know, talking about family, talking about, you know, like the afterlife, yeah, talking, yeah. what else are we talking about? Like, yeah, all that stuff. Like Raising fucking, like your kids Re how to raise like your kids um, parents, like that. you know creativity yeah. how to how to find yourself yeah. like yeah. those are things that i don't think we really ever talk too deeply about can you click actually when that pod was when was that that when podcast that was on august mm -hmm. 19th 2022 august 19th. So, so, almost so almost a year almost ago a year now yeah, yeah. yeah. Make sure we, okay. i want to just check the distant yeah, matter i had a few just a matter one was august 8th which is today's august 7th right I don't know, whatever. It's a, we're around there. We're around <laughs> yeah. there, but but uh, but no, that was dope. Uh, DeAndre K. And Simon. Then boom. And after that, you we guys had, we had, to change, had the idea. We, we tried to space, spice it up a little bit. And Want you, to spice up the content. We we're like, boom, unmastered university. Mm. I told boom. Nick. I looked at Nick and I told him, unmastered university. What does that mean to you? And he goes. Well, it's probably because we're like in university and we're still doing the unmastered. This is this is. And not then true. I looked at him and I mm -hmm. said, "No, it's us interviewing people 
I just hokos in university. That's, I think yeah, no, I, none I of that is true. But it. none of that <laughs> is true. <laughs> anyway, so but uh, that was pretty cool though. Yeah, <laughs> that would Wolf have been Homecoming cool was your first video, probably one of the best ones. I think it yeah. was dope. Because me and Gianluca, we said to each other, you know, these things are are going on. How can we make content out of this? Yeah, yeah. We've seen guys like Jack Denmo doing mm-hmm. in the past. We've seen you know people Nelk go on the person. street, Nelk, do these kind of videos. So yeah, why not yeah. us? So we went out there. Um, it's funny because literally the year before we met Jack Denmo and we were saying, yo, like those you videos, so, so dope. Like, you know, yeah. I, I used to watch them like in, in first year university because it's kind of like the first thing you get exposed to as a student, like early, sure. not, not the first thing, but like, that's the first thing they no, show you when you but, come but in. But like content wise, <laughs> no, you're like, oh shit, like, oh, like what are these parties yeah, yeah, all yeah, about? Yeah. Cause it's the first month of school. Yeah. So you watch the videos, you see how it's like, yeah, yeah. right. It gets you all hyped up for like when it actually happens. Yeah. So for us to actually go and do well, that. You know that what? That's cool. a good point. Actually, maybe people like that are going like now, this yeah, year, they're they watching like, it. look it up. Yeah. Oh no. What could be going around there? And then ours pop up. Boom. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Huh. I think um, that's why those videos are still growing to this makes day. Sense. And yeah. I think that was the that is the most viewed video on our channel to date. Yeah, two point two thousand Guelph Homecoming. So we're like, you guys were like, damn, we got to run it back next week or whatever. Is McMaster Homecoming? Yeah, we did McMaster. You guys went out there, did it again. The street interviews, it was dope. There's so many stories with these individual ones. You know, I remember that day. I was feeling so sick and like I kind of didn't want to do it. Yeah, for the uh, McMaster one. Yeah, and you you yeah. guys were like there. I think like Noah Franco was there. Yeah, everyone was there. Imam, Moose. Yeah. We had a bunch of the guys come out to like help us out and kind of party a little bit too. And uh, we did the interviews and we kind of wanted it to be a little bit more creative, I think, yeah. than the than the Guelph yeah. one. Yeah. And we asked a little bit more creative questions like what are your talents or what things can you do, you know, like stuff like that. And, you know, it was get, cool because I kind of yeah. liked how each one had its own style almost. Mm. Different schools. It's like each one had a different vibe just naturally of yeah. the people being there. But then we changed up the colors. We did like, you know what I mean? Well, that's because it's a different color scheme yeah. for the school. But yeah. what I'm trying to say is like the creative, back to McMaster, I just want to get into this. We were we were talking, you know, about the creative talents. Then we bump into our friend Claire. <laughs> she goes and names oh, right. every single country in Africa in front of me and yeah. I'm like holy shit like yeah. she just did that and that was fucking crazy we couldn't believe that someone could just do that on the spot like that so we go we make the clips for this video that video absolutely explodes Blew up to this and day naturally you have to make a clip off that so boom when you post that are you kidding me what yeah. you saw after that it yeah. just kept to this day, yeah. there's still people liking and commenting on mil. that video. Almost 11, I think it's dude. almost 11 million Which views. To think that we could even go there, considering like you know, we thought it was amazing to get to 3 million yeah. views, 1 million view, let alone 5 million views. So we saw it hit 5, mil, 5 million views. And we're like, holy shit, man. This is crazy. Yeah. Then 7, then 8, then 9. Over the months, it keeps racking up, racking up. And then it's like 10 million? What? We're like, what? That's crazy. And it was like, what? It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Yeah. The, the right. fact that we were able to reach over 10 million views was a huge milestone for us. And it just showed what was possible. Then we go, we post that clip on YouTube that it blows up on there again. What is mm-hmm. it on YouTube? Same thing, I think like it's at three, six, six, six million six, views. Yeah. Six million yeah, views on YouTube. Yeah, that's crazy. Because then yeah, that just yeah. shows you too, like, boom, that works everywhere. That one type mm-hmm. of one. Yeah. yeah. That one type of one. Works well, that out. type of content, right? That type like, of content works everywhere. Though. Yeah, no, for sure. So we understood a different type of content that potentially could go viral yeah. for us, which was which was really is like wow, like it's kind of all coming together. We're figuring it out. Everything we we were doing seemed to be t- like turning into gold in a way, mm-hmm. all while while sort of getting a lot of hate in the background. Yeah, because okay, yeah, sure, we we were getting the views, but we weren't the best maybe public speakers yet. Our mm-hmm. our podcasts mm-hmm. weren't like how everyone else's podcast was. It was more creative. It was more on the fly, freestyle in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the vids weren't everything wasn't perfect yet. And I don't think it ever really gets perfect. But like still, like we're in the process of making it. You know, yeah. we're trying to figure it all out. So that was like a huge like just validation I think for us that we could hit ten million views. Yeah, yeah. and then after that, McMaster was Queen's homecoming. You guys have the story for that. I think we already yeah. covered it on the Homecoming and Master well, we can, podcast. We can go into it again. So, it so again? remember that day we, we got there. We were so excited. How far was that drive, man? Maybe like a seven-hour drive. A while. 
seven. Maybe drive. they're in back seven. Quite yeah. a while. Nice hotel for sure. <laughs> Run down. <laughs> Horrible. Home renovation. I was like, is there a washroom in this place? Yeah. It's in the back. Sorry. There's a little biscuits for you here. Um, brutal. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, yeah, we got there and we're like, yes, the vibe is hype. Let's do it, boy. We're walking in the street. We're like, this is going to be sick. You know what? What's going on here? Cool people. And then we show up. First thing happens. First thing that happens. Oh, you're talking about <laughs> at, like the place. Yeah, what oh, no. well, like, no, no, to change not, it the, up. not the first thing. Like, the first thing that when we, when we got on the street, we were like, holy shit. Like this place is full of like hot brats <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah, like, yeah, sure. we, I think it was like okay in my opinion the best looking girls in all of the universities we went to mm-hmm. sure yeah and we were hyped and I know you were fucking hyped and we're like yo we gotta meet some girls here like this is fucking awesome we're gonna have a great day it's gonna be a great day yeah great day going the, on, the weather was beautiful the weather was great what else, man? Like the fucking vibes were immaculate. Like the people were were cool. They were dapping us up, and like yeah, everything was was going great. Like I couldn't actually imagine a better day. And then, dude, it goes fucking one eighty. Mm. Yeah, we interviewed so we this were, one girl. Yeah, yeah. So what happened? Drunk, drunk as fuck. All right, you know what? Too drunk. We had a, not a bad interview. I didn't ask anything stupid. No, nothing wrong. And then two minutes later, we're interviewing another guy. And then we get like a beer thrown at us. Yeah. What the hell was that? Fucking awful. Oh, and then boom, smacks the camera. Fuck, it's like, oh, like and someone like, smacks what? it. The same right girl. Right after, yeah. it's like two, this is in 30 seconds this happened. Yeah. And we're like, oh, okay, you know what? Let's shake it off. Let's go in the actual like mosh pit, whatever's over there. And then we go in there. And what, what happens over there? More like, I don't know, it was just like... More stupid oh shit. Yeah. Some and guys then, fighting. I yeah, think it was fighting. There was a fight there. Guy like pushing around. It was chaotic. And then uh, we got the fine. <laughs> oh, well, how did that happen? We got the fine. So like I'm just standing there. Oh, yeah. So we interviewed these girls. They're always obviously also intoxicated. And then they go... I think everyone was. We're yeah. And then they go and they're like, let's interview a cop. Let's do that. And I'm like, okay, you know what? Sure. People have done it before. Like... You see that happening, but also at this moment, I'm like, no, you know what? This is probably not a good idea, dude. Because like those cops look like they're they ain't, they ain't want to be interviewed right now. Yeah. And this girl just did it, and like where we were, we were still kind of like we were holding back from like her doing it anyways. Like we weren't really. We we're like, I don't know. Like we could. Like, like we were standing. We weren't right next to her. And she takes the mic and go. But she's like, she oh, like let's go interview her. Like, she like went yeah. and did it, but we weren't like right next to her while she went and asked the cop. Yeah. But you can see that on the video. And then I get pulled aside. Hey, we were like, like oh, you know just, what? Let's go. Like, you know what? Nah, yeah. don't do that. And then I just get pulled aside. I got grabbed. Nick doesn't though. Nick's right beside me. <laughs> we're talking to each other. And I get pulled and she's like, yeah, you're getting a fine. You, you see it all in the video. And I'm like, why? For what? For just for being on the street. Like you can't be here. It was announced as a whatever party. What was it? Um, a non nuisance party. a nuisance party and or I'm something like, like okay, that. Okay, yeah. What yeah. about this guy though? And right. like the fact that it, we he got a ticket just simply on the fact that he attended a nuisance party or whatever the yeah, hell it was. was. There, I wasn't. Yeah. I didn't drink at all. We didn't drink at all. But apparently, they had to say an announcement to leave the area. But also, it's like okay, what if no someone comes late and they don't hear that? Yeah, yeah. I think we came after it. Honestly, yeah, five hundred dollar ticket. <laughs> yeah. They didn't pay it though, so he never paid it. Fuck that. you, <laughs> fuck you, fucking town of <laughs> Kingston. Kingston, never yeah. going back. Never going back. See you later. Probably not. No. Um, but you know, potentially we are. I don't think any universities will be out by this comes out, but we are planning on doing that again this year. Yeah, going to the universities this time. We're gonna get a new universities. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going um, there though. Yeah, maybe not there, we'll dude. See, we'll I won't see. go there for sure. I'll we'll go see to which ones are looking ones. like. You know what? It's not gonna be a problem. No, not not Queens again. I think we definitely check out Western. We definitely check out. But isn't Brock. Western the bad one too? Yeah, maybe like oh, a so it's the biggest party so. school. Yeah, so but maybe not. After oh, the we need a game. We need a group of people who is going to like people. help us out. Group. Yeah. Oh, yeah. we're in the merch. Boom. Yeah. After Macedo, that, security. We had the homecoming video, episode 16, homecoming pod, I mean, where you guys basically just recapped what you just said yeah. and kind of just we went on with what we were doing because obviously it wasn't just university the whole hour. But, uh, but that was dope. Um, and then we had episode 17, which another good connect we made. Alexander Panetta, again, mm-hmm. first time meeting him. 
guy who's been on Canada's Got Talent, got the golden buzzer, all this cool dope stuff. Great meeting him, dancer, artist. He's released some new music ever since we did that pod. You guys can go check it out. Proved by Alexander Panetta. Who knows, maybe has another drop yeah, by then. he's killing it out um, yep. He's dope. Uh, you Great know, guy. He's helped us out a lot. We definitely want to do more content with these guys for sure. Um, and then after that, we reach Christmas time, dude. Oh, yeah. Which is episode 18. Christmas Unmastered special. Christmas I think we, we, special. we took a bit of a, I think, a break, a break in between there, yeah. that. Yeah, because yeah. we had so much shit to do. Actually, well, it says seven months, seven months. So maybe it's oh, just like a so month Oh, so it was but, like, yeah, the same. Yeah. yeah. But uh, but yeah, that was a dope episode of Christmas theme. We wrapped up everything at the desk. It was cool. Nick, Nick was St. Nick. Me and Drake were just like in our ugly sweaters. That, that was, was dope. And then we reach, you know, it's the winter time. What goes on to the winter? Outdoor rinks, Christmas, snowing. And uh, we had the Unmastered Goes to the Rink of Dreams episode drop. Oh, yeah. Yep. Featuring the Nelk Boys, Pavel Barber, uh, Always Hockey, all these dope people, man, that we met. Mm-hmm. Jimmy Gambles was there, whatever. Yeah. Um, Mark Anthony Sinagoga again. Uh, cool guys. And, um, Wait, you know. Didn't we do the pod with Sinagoga before? We had, yeah, we yeah. had doing the pod. We, we just did didn't release it, it yet. Ah, I see. So, I see. yeah, that's why. Because I was like, wait, in my head, I was yeah, like, yeah, I was like, like, wait, I was like how do we already know him? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, no. I you know, know Austin Alexander. Like, we had it vaulted for a long time. <laughs> yeah. But, you we know, a couple again, <laughs> that's, that goes out to Alex Weiss giving us that connection, inviting us out again to the Ring of Dreams event. Hopefully, we're going against this year. We'll maybe do the playing. Oh, yeah, we're, maybe we're playing. Going, bro. We got that um, master oh, yeah, team now. now we've, uh, yeah. we've advanced that we could play in it. We bro. actually have a yeah. team now. This yeah. is insane stuff. Just take a moment here, man. You guys don't even know the things, too, that we've done. That things are vaulted. Yeah. yeah. We just said we met the guy that we like. People are probably like, how does he know that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. We're later, always like but, seven months ahead. And it's ahead. like in the but summer. Yeah. Well, and, um, <laughs> but yeah, it was great stuff. Met 905 Shooter, all these dope, creative people from Toronto. And That's people what from I planted the, the seat with 90 there, right? Because yeah. yeah. we met him for the first time exactly. there. And that yeah. turned into a future podcast, yeah. which we'll get into. Um, so yeah, dope stuff. After that, we went into episode 19 with the guy, Anthony Sorella. Great mm-hmm. stuff. Invited us to the neighborhood creative studio. I had known a bit about their podcast, Money Buys Happiness, signed under Full Send. Mm-hmm. Um, great guy, great stories told. You know, again, another podcast where we talked about a bit creative stuff with him, learning from someone who's a bit more experienced and had a bit more success yeah. in the podcast game, which is yeah. what we're trying to be into. And then a bit of just kind of talk about the world and, you know, all that kind of stuff, which was... Yeah, sort of like a, yeah. a mentor kind yeah, of vibe, yeah. right? Because Sorella being about five or six years older than us, in the same lane as us, mm-hmm. just being able to see how he operates, you know, what his mindset is and how, he, yeah, he's an entrepreneur just like us. And, you know, being around that is something that really inspires yeah. you that it's possible, mm-hmm. right? You know, that, that you can do it too. And just being able to like, you know, get that knowledge from him, like we're forever grateful for that. So thank you for that. Yep. for that Anthony, and, uh, and, and just even like allowing us to use a studio in future episodes yep. which we'll get into yeah um, and that I, one just hold on that one yeah. just like makes the point that like podcasters you don't have to be scared of each other you don't have to no. be competition too much like yeah have each other on your podcast share each other's resources space connections oh you know what this guy he maybe he doesn't fit my podcast to come on mine but you guys are more creative we'll talk to him here let me connect you with him things like that let me use your space all, all these types of things mm-hmm. right that's what that one brought to us i think as well changes yeah, that is very that helpful because we ended up using yeah. his studio after again for other yeah. things and he literally he did give us a guest too yeah like i said like i was just saying that but that did happen mm-hmm. yeah that happened so hey big big lesson here for the creatives don't look at other brands or other podcasts or other musicians or anyone in your field as competition look at it like first and foremost inspiration as to what's possible yeah but then also as someone that you can build with you know you may not have like the best connection but even just being on good terms with people is always a good place to be yeah 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 so yeah 100%, 100%. so yeah after that episode 20 we had roy dunkelman who is the creator and founder of cockoodery uh boards yeah. which was charcuterie boards with oh, yeah. you know <laughs> Shaped as shout a out to uh, yeah, shout out to Distant Matter for setting <laughs> oh, that up because he DM'd yeah. me um, that Roy would be down to do a pod, yeah. so we got together, we did that pod. So yeah. shout out to Distant, yeah, yeah, and so Very we did cool that pod. pod again, meeting someone who first and foremost, I guess, created like a uh, a, a product product that you can yeah. actually feel. You know, obviously people have you know invented stuff like like I said, businesses and all that kind of stuff, yeah. but yeah. it's an actual product that we can see and feel and touch. It was dope um, getting to experience and hear from someone like that, how they started that up. Then after that, like we said, we had Mark Anthony Sinagoga, episode 21. 
another cool pot uh, uh, italian yes. comedian guy you know great time lots of laughs outdoor pot it was sweating yeah this <laughs> one i couldn't make this one yeah, that's this true one but mateo was joined my us first on that one. This was my first one I wasn't on, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was the first ever pod that we yeah. had one less host, mm-hmm. right? So yeah. then we had your buddy Mateo yeah, from Mateo, episode, five. episode there you go. five. Yeah, He came on because the whole story was I was working a job with Mateo that night, like a freelance video gig, mm-hmm. and I got a call to like uh, for a gig for like 500 bucks. Yeah. And I was like, okay, Mateo, but I got to do this pod tomorrow. So you go to the pod. You sleep <laughs> in my house tonight. Please come. Yeah. You film the pod. You can be on it, whatever. And I, I got to go do this gig. Yeah. And then that's what happened. So, but shout out Mark Anthony again, dope guy. Um, you know, I recently bought his vinyl too, which will be in our next studio. Yep. So that was cool. He made his own vinyl. All merch peoples. Yeah, all the, all the great For connections sure. we've made. Yeah. You know, dope stuff. And yeah, yeah, that was that was just a hilarious podcast. Yeah. Like we were laughing the whole time. <laughs> it kind of was a little bit unfortunate because Mateo's audio mm-hmm. like malfunctioned yeah. so like it was just like sounding like a robot the whole time so we decided to just cut out every single time he said something <laughs> yeah. so there is like an hour of that podcast that you guys will never see which yeah. was really fucking funny mm-hmm. um i hope maybe we can redo that podcast with mark anthony one day because yeah. hey, another thing that you guys don't even know there's been so many technological things oh, yeah. that it's have each gone on. Yeah, so mm-hmm. many. Every episode has its challenges, mm-hmm. and I think the big lesson here is you're gonna face challenges. There's gonna be challenges, and there's gonna be technological setbacks. Yeah, and you just have to be ready to stay on your toes and adapt, and be able to still create a good product for the audience to enjoy. Yeah. which is what I think we did with that episode. I think it's still really funny, still great. And once again, another great connection made with with the great Mark Anthony Sinagoga. Even with the yeah. Unmastered Uni vids too, man. All my interviews in the whole Guelph mm. were like garbage and didn't work. Yeah, the audio didn't work for that That's one. That's why yeah. like I'm in it. I, I'm in it for the five minutes in the beginning and then it's like, where do you go? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. But it still ended up being good. And, you know, you, you fucking adapt. That's yeah. it. You, you'd be flexible. That's it, baby. And right then we had podcast. the boy, the shirtless wonder. Die low. My first podcast not on, you know, oh, versus you. Fuck, two back the, to back there. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, you guys had Die Low. Talk about that whole experience. Oh, Die was interesting, man. He came in and I'm like, these are the first time you're meeting these people. So you're like, who are they, how are they going to be, man? And he just like brought the energy. You're like, this yeah. guy wants to do content. This yep. guy wants to be on. Came with no shirt and he was just ready to like get those moments on the pod mm. where he's spitting some shit and you're going to clip that, you know? Well, yeah, he actually didn't come in with the no shirt. He had this big like yeah, he had this big cold on it. Big, I don't know. It wasn't that too cold outside. I was like, is this guy going to take this no, off? No, he like, came upstairs. He's like, is yeah. he going to take this off? And then he unzips it. No shirt. I didn't want to do that reveal. Like, we were yeah. like, what? This guy's got no shirt on? Um, but no, yeah, he's just one of those talkers like you gotta listen to he's great at getting the attention all that yeah. kind of stuff um and yeah. funny enough and there's a good story about the podcast after, after that which was episode 23 was 905 shooter wait wait hold on why is what's that funny the, enough well, what's the story man well the story yeah. we have to wait till we reach another guest to uh, say that that's probably okay. why yeah but what, after that what, what do you say funny enough, funny enough it's 905 shooter because they also linked up in the future and made a connect oh, and you know he went on his yacht funny, and filmed some kind of stuff yeah well, so not that big, but i feel like we kind of helped out make that connection yeah, a little bit that's another thing that we, we did can get sure. into but like yeah. I, from a bird's eye view you can see a lot of these connections sort of came from the pod yeah, yeah, so yeah. far insane. um yeah like there's other people that come in the future on yeah. our podcast that you guys of course know of but so yeah 905 they, shooter they up, again right? another name that was like you sure we're going to have this guy on? Like, I used to watch this guy, Nelk videographer. You know, I used to watch him during COVID, all the live streams, see his stuff, and now he's coming on our podcast. It was dope. Great getting to meet him. We went out to eat after. Yeah, very all cool. All this kind of stuff. <laughs> dope guy. Um, But yeah, we definitely said we were going to run back that podcast, do another one. Oh, yeah, he DM'd yeah. us not too long ago, say he wants to do it again. Mm-hmm. So we'll run it back. Very cool stuff. Yeah, just Nino, like just having someone that, especially for me, was I think the first person that I knew him from content mm-hmm. yeah. before i know you guys knew a lot of these other guests yeah, yeah, yeah. i i honestly didn't know like half of them mm-hmm. or like 90 percent of them so nano for me was a little bit like surreal right it's like you know you see someone you watched growing up or you know watching the nelk boys like you know when you're in your teenage years and you're like holy shit i want to do that and you know to have someone who is part of that world come on up on our podcast was once again another moment where you're mm-hmm. like holy shit this is possible this guy is like a normal cool dude you know he's fucking playing pokemon go and shit like yeah. super humble guy like it was just cool to see that yeah. you know if in first hand right mm-hmm. and after that episode we had episode 24 yep. keeping the Tom- trend of the rick of dream guests 
with Tommy Shane, yeah, another, another guy, guy yeah. we met at the Rink of Dreams. Rink of we Dreams. met so many people from that Rink of Dreams. Yeah. Tommy, we met. We met Max Nino. Mezzo, Nino. Nino. Potentially, Michaela Lee comes on the pod. So yeah. she yeah. was Austin another Alexander. person. Austin Alexander. Austin Alexander. Hopefully, yeah, he comes on. on. Yeah. So many people we met yeah, that night. Like Even so Kevin we Hamden. Kevin we forgot Hamden. the whole Kevin there Hamden going, yeah. story. Like yeah. crazy, bro. Oh, yeah. So much yeah. shit that happened. But Tommy Shonath, comedian. Funny guy, man. I believe he just recently also hit 2 million followers on yeah, TikTok. So yeah, another yeah. great achievement, yeah. man. Love seeing these guys mm -hmm. keep killing it. Um, great guy to, you know, got to know him. Max Mezzo came that day with him and we did shoot we did a pod. A, a we first ever that. double whammy. Double yeah. pod, pod. Day. Yeah, so we did, oh, we did Tommy and then we did... Max oh, Mezzo nice. right yeah. after. And is that the next episode? Actually, we did. No, we Max technically, guys, we technically oh, we did three. <laughs> we actually did three episodes that day, if you guys remember. And then we just never put on oh, that one. Yeah, was like, like we, guys, minutes. you don't even know. We're not going to talk about, about that too much <laughs> yeah. detail here. But there's a couple pods, a couple videos you that guys have not never seen. seen yeah. Yeah, I'll actually, talk to you. Yeah. Maybe we did Unmastered St. Patty's on the street. But that, but that never came out. Uh, that never came out. We had another podcast earlier on that never came out, and then that podcast with like. Sometimes all of the things don't happen. What are you gonna hey, do? What are you, you gonna know? do? What, what are you gonna, gonna do? do? Not, not yeah, everything always yeah, works out. Sometimes the technical difficulties are too much, or too sometimes much. the fucking day is just brutal. Yeah. yeah. And then sometimes exactly. Sometimes you. Just sometimes don't want the, the stuff it. we talk about just is yeah, awful just, and yeah. brutal and not entertaining, not interesting. And just we would be doing a disservice yeah. to you guys, I think, yeah. if we released it. And so after that, we had the boy Jesse Lucas. And that's why I was saying Die Low connects to this one now. Yeah. Because Jesse and him, now they've collabed. And made yeah. their own songs. And the thing that was cool yeah. is because on the Jesse Lucas episode, which also came from Sorella. So there's a whole map going on. You could do a whole, a whole web. Whole web. Maybe you could do a web. Sorella Detective. came with Jesse. Boom. Die Low. Collab now. We had yeah. him last month. And like these whole funny, that's just a podcast game, baby. Yeah. And if you don't have it, you don't have it. <laughs> uh, but, uh, right. So what happened? Uh, they did the whole collab. Anyways, that episode was fucking amazing. He wants to run it back too, for sure. That mm -hmm. was like the first where it felt like it's one of your boys on or something. Yeah, yeah. it was yeah, weird because it was really the cool. first time we ever met Jesse yeah. and yeah. he came on, talked about his stories and it kind of felt like you're just talking to one of your boys. Like yeah. you were saying, like you've known him for 10 years, yeah. but we literally just <laughs> met him. Had a nice laugh. Your all boy that played jits. very eccentric and he's got like he loud clothing and it's fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah, 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 awesome dude. And it um, just showed, he was one of those guys who was very self-expressive yeah, yeah. in terms of like his clothing, his look, you know, mm -hmm. just like Tiag's. Yeah. You know, another one of those guys where it's like, shit, man, this guy has the it factor and he has the look that goes with being yeah. Uh, yeah. a big musical artist. Exactly. So it's just another guy who's just, it motivates you because it shows what's possible. And also it lowers that fear of like, you know, judgment because yeah. he can just kind of rock whatever the fuck he's yeah. feeling. Yeah. yeah. You know, and that's that's a super cool and thing that's too, why, right? Yeah, he said in our pod how, oh yeah, you guys just had that guy, you know, Dilo, he does yeah. those street things. Yeah, yeah I, want, I want to meet that guy one day. Yeah. He literally yeah. said on the pod and then... And then it happened. You know what happened. Yeah. Um, and like Nick was saying, they're kind of like the same. You know, they both don't yeah. care what people think. You know, Dilo's out here yeah. with no shirt on, the neon hair. He's got the cool hair stuff too. Um, yeah. Jesse Lucas and the grills and all this kind of stuff, the jacket. Um, so yeah, really dope. And then after that, guys, a buddy of mine was like, yo, it's the summertime now. School's done you know, work's going on, whatever. I'm going to probably start this hockey league, this and that. So me and Nick and Drew were talking about, you know, we've played hockey in the past. We have, we wanted to do this at some point. We're like, let's do like a master yeah. hockey team. You know, we've played in other leagues, men's, men's leagues, and uh, we made it happen. So, um, what? Let's put it off the table. <laughs> <laughs> Can so, I have a half that? fucking drinking water so, bottle? No, yeah. Um, we started dropping our own unmastered hockey videos, which is basically us going on the ice, um, you know, mic'd up, doing yeah. interviews after games. You know, it's it's been pretty fun. And a lot of our friends are telling us, you know, it's some of the best part of their week. You know, every Sunday, mm -hmm. going out to the rink, you just get to be with friends, filming content, having fun. And uh, we started that whole series, you know, made our own jerseys, made a gr great group of people that want to play for our team. And uh, we've done about, uh, by the time you guys have seen this, 10 episodes. So yeah. really cool stuff right there. Um, and then after episode four. Hold on. Another, wait, are we going to get into that? We're going to get into yeah, it. Yeah, we got to okay, get into that hockey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> just doing the hockey episodes was has been crazy because it's been like one of those ones where it's like a sport, an event yeah. happening. And yeah. you got to be on your game the whole time yeah. or else you're going to miss a goal. You're going to miss something. Um, and then how, you know, like also getting a bunch of other guys that we knew and were have been close with for years yeah. a part of the content yeah. 
you know, was, was, has been awesome. You yeah. know, just like guys like Stefan, you guys probably know mm-hmm. by now. Um, yeah, guys Jack, like Jack Macedo. Miller, Macedo, um, my brother, uh, like different guys who, you know, I feel like have been on the sidelines and we haven't really brought them in on this as much as we want right, to, right. got their chance to sh- like shine because they love hockey. They've been playing yeah, hockey. Yeah. It's been fucking awesome to like, you know, play with those guys. And of course we can't forget Eric Nagy. Yeah. You know, how did you even, you made that connection. Yeah. Through a buddy. Yeah, wait, you Lucas, were just gonna go on. You were just gonna go yeah. on to the next podcast episode, and not mention like, that's yeah. such a Eric huge and the whole like thing that this has been so far. Yeah, yeah, like, so, it's been insane during these videos. Uh, Lucas Chapman, a buddy of ours, he played one game with us. Um, he was obviously close with Aiden Dale and Eric Nagy. I don't know if I put on my story that I needed a goldie, or I just told met him Lucas personally. at the rink of dreams. There you go, there you another go. connect. And I, and he obviously know, knew Eric. So he's like, yo, these guys I know unmastered. I think Eric said he might have known of our pockets from Aiden. Yeah. He watched yeah. it again, yeah. another connection. Another connection. Thing. And he's like, yeah, like I've seen these guys. I've, I love the production quality. I love the hard work. I see these guys love what they're doing and they want to do it. I want to be a part of this team. You know, even though it was like a 40 minute drive from 30 minutes. He was like, yo, he DM'd us. He was like, I want to be the goalie for this team. I want to work. Let's make some dope content. Yep. And yeah, we made that connect with him, which has been really, really good. You know, a lot of advice from him and we've given him some stuff. We've helped him with videos. He's helped us. Um, and yeah, we released a podcast with him, essentially. That, yep. That's out by now. Mm-hmm. And it was great stuff getting to talk to him for like, what, like four hours yeah. it was, three hours. Longest podcast yeah. episode for sure. For sure. Yeah. You know, we got deep about it, all that kind of stuff. And just so. insane. Like the whole yeah. hockey video, like first episode, insane. We're not we're ju- we were just jumping into it like yeah. a master university you know we had the experience with that one yeah. and it was like okay it's gonna be kind of like that because the interviews, interviews you know? yeah. but then it's like Another holy content. shit you guys are just going on the ice and oh that shit the game's already starting like i'm trying to track along <laughs> yeah. where's the best place to film like yeah. i didn't know we didn't plan all this it's kind of like a winter classic and i was yeah, like what am thing. i doing here yeah and it's only me one filmer and i'm like okay you know what i gotta actually stand on the bench now so then we knew that from yeah going forward with the games and we got the whole game plan you know what let's keep eric keep him to have a mic but other than all like filming the content and the video aspect of everything what about the this has just been a trial for like managing Mm. yes like you're putting together like a whole team every week like Mm -hmm. you know there's guys who can't come and it's just like a whole managerial thing going on because every week there's different guys who can and cannot make it yeah so finding other people to come and play with us has been crazy man like yeah because it's like if you weren't doing the video you probably when you go as hard trying to find a guy no yeah yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. Mm-hmm. and plus like there's a bit of a competitive aspect to for it for sure like, yeah because we, 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 we were we were undefeated pressure, for yeah. a good amount yeah. of time and too. then you yeah. know our buddy george now which came on the podcast again guys it's just all people we well meet yeah we videos. played one of the games um, you know we're playing against the spice girls they bring out george figueres who was drafted, who's drafted second to round to the dallas stars it's crazy um you know he he sniped on eric a couple times but eric fucking made some dope saves um so rude and uh he so rude do that just have and, to uh, mention that again yeah. it's already in the video <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. yeah yeah he was just he was crazy so we were like he, he said I knew, he knew our content and I've kind of known of him in the past he's known me well he's from Richmond um, same area as yeah, us right so, so we made that connect we had him on the podcast are you in that great stuff the table slapping no Okay. And um, oh, yeah, great. again, you know, maybe some future videos with these guys, these athletes. Um, but yeah, no, sure. it's just it was crazy that we brought the NHL to a men's league. Like <laughs> yeah, we brought NHL, NHL level talent mm-hmm, to there, mm-hmm. and then even like one of the recent games, Chase um, you know, Max Monopoly bringing out his buddy uh chase coglin to come yeah. play so you know, he was Wolves. he's in the ohl currently yeah and he decided to come play for yeah. us that's like crazy to me too yeah like these guys who are playing pretty much professional hockey coming to play in a men's league shows that w- what content can do for Super you dope. and like how marketing something correctly can make something like look like something that someone yeah, wants to be a part of yeah you know because sure. there's a lot of things that we could have done wrong and maybe you know didn't do the proper content for this that you know maybe these people don't want to be a part of right. it. right yeah. so that just shows the power of production the power of networking you know and then also shout out eric Nagy again for just 100%. being a, a mvp of the league mm-hmm. just being a, a total funny ass motherfucker every single episode saying the funniest shit making the guys laugh consistently making great content and yeah that leads us to what uh our episode 26 which was after game four we did release the podcast because we had like a long weekend and released a pod with max mezzo who was another one of our buddies 
Yeah. Who, um, you know, rink again, met at the Rink of Dreams. Yeah, another so, Rink of Dreams um, connect. Mateo knew him, though. Yeah, that so was that's a funny a, story. That's another He's thing like, let too. me interview these guys. And all of a sudden he goes, wait, Max? Like, yeah, you saw that the interview was that. Yeah, this, they were buddies, which is funny because that's another connection. Yes. <laughs> Holy shit, connections on connections. Know. Yeah, I think the title of this episode is Connections this is and tr- Reflections. It's truly, it's yes. true when people yeah, say connections, yeah, is, yeah. connections is one of the biggest things you can ever have. It's, it's true, literally. It's yeah. all this stuff just comes from connections. It's all this Work, school. They say it's the best part about it, right? This is literally. Like connections. literally, it's the who you know. Lifeline yeah. of this business is connections. Yeah. If you don't have any connections, you can try to make them by doing content. Yeah. yeah. I think that's what we did at the start. You know, we had pretty much no connections other than maybe a few people we know that do stuff on the side. And, exactly. and most of it was online. Yeah. You know, even like knowing Distant Matter back in the day. Yeah, we had those clubhouse, connections, but what's that do? But they're dormant. Right? They're like yeah. these dormant connections. Here. I bet, you know what, uh, right? whoever is watching on here, I bet right now you have 50 connections with people you could do shit with that you haven't even met in real life, but you just are afraid. Mm-hmm. Like the fact that you're, we're just, we're, we weren't afraid well, to reach is, out yeah. and do this is exactly. fucking huge. Yeah. yeah. For you sure. know what I mean? Like, it's, just uh, like, because yeah. because now who the fuck knows where those little connections, I mean, not connections, um, moments, even if it's just going mm-hmm. to get yeah. a lunch yeah. or mm-hmm. doing a podcast, like, you know, this podcast, whatever, gets 500 views, amazing, great. But think about what comes from that. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. You know, it's like all the content you can make, the videos, the music, the films, everything and yeah. also the memories mm-hmm. that we forget about sure and also the great friends too exactly man. like it's fucking it seems like an, a never ending amount of like dope shit that comes from doing content yeah it just feels like that I, I also feel like once you get past that hate phase which i think a lot of people have when they start because they, they're believing in themselves and everyone else doesn't fucking believe in themselves and they try to like bring you down in that whole fucking dynamic um you know like yeah. going through that phase there is a light at, at the end at the end of the tunnel exactly. for sure if you're willing to go through it oh, yeah. yeah you know so next up you know we didn't fully get into it but the max mezzo episode like mm-hmm. we said made that connect again at the rink of dreams um you know max mezzo another guy who gained success since we did that podcast i believe he's maybe close to 400k 300k TikTok, TikTok followers yeah. Yeah. he's going um, crazy every famous day. for the belt flick oh, yeah, yeah the belt flick. he brought it was really fun great um, cinematographer though too i think where yeah. is he right now he's in, today uh, he actually messaged us he flew back from nova, nova scotia yeah, he did a uh, commercial with yeah. timberland okay, okay which is fucking what, dope. timberland or timberland timberland like the oh, okay brand. timberland um, <laughs> which is again he, that guy's doing crazy stuff you know cinematographer like druga said yeah. filming things doing the belt flick these gym sick TikToks mm-hmm. um of his daily routine um definitely want to work with him more in the future for sure um we Big actually guy. asked him to come to the Fusi thing, the Fusi yeah, pod. To help us out. Yeah. Help yeah. us out. So that. Yeah. Um, and then after that, <laughs> we went back into some more Master Hockey episodes. We did five, six, seven, which is cool. The six, seven episodes, we uh, brought up some new players. Like Nick said, his brother came out. We had Diceman out, Ciccarelli, Nat Bannister, all these dope guys, Chase Coglin out to the games, mm-hmm. Matthew Plaza, mm-hmm. which helped us out a lot. We needed a goalie. And don't forget, Ryan Dimitrov. <laughs> who uh, was one of Nick's buddies. Outstanding uh, for, Goldie. Outstanding. outstanding. <laughs> Absolutely yeah. Outstanding. Yeah. outstanding. You know, he helped thank us out a lot. So thank you yeah, to all there was those one guys. game where Eric couldn't come yeah. and we Plaza had no couldn't. other goalie yeah. because Eric, he, had, he said he couldn't come literally like an hour before the game. Yeah. So we were like scrambling for a goalie and and thank God, Matt Mignatis, we know Shut Matt up. Mignatis, a former <laughs> goalie. He was working, you know, he couldn't do the, the game, but he had equipment that he allowed Ryan Dimitrov, his buddy, mm-hmm. another connection, to use so yep. he could come out and actually play goalie for us yeah. and ryan only played goalie like one time in his life when he was like 12 <laughs> in rep hockey or whatever <laughs> two so games. two games two games he said he played so for him to come out especially expecting an nhl player or prospect to come out because the yeah. last game we played against that spice girls team um george figueres came out yeah and we were like expecting some sort of NHL talent to like yeah. pull up. So yeah. we had no, no idea what to expect. And yeah. thank God for Ryan for coming out. And we ended up winning like 17 to four. Yeah. And he came out and played as a player and shit. <laughs> like so funny. Yeah. Well, that was um, and then after yeah. that episode seven, we dropped the anti antiquated episode with Julian. That beautiful art piece you guys see in the back there. Uh-huh. He made beautiful. for us Unmastered Podcast themed black, see white, right over there. It says Unmastered Podcast. Great episode, funny guy. Again, another connect from like Skira. Uh, we met him at Skira's actually label 
thing. Right, we didn't even mention that. Like since Skira came on our podcast, he actually got signed to a label. Yeah, I think yeah. it's called yeah. Wax Records, which yeah, again amazing. another successful thing. Um, and his friend was anti antiquated. Uh, I kind of knew of him before from a podcast that he's done. He said, "I'll come out, do a podcast. I'll make you guys a nice art piece." So shout out to him. It was really dope. And then from now, that's the last podcast. Another episode I wasn't on. Huh. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Okay. That's you true. guys ran that one whole your own show. You had yeah. the camera set up. That was the no, fir- I think yeah. the second ever pod that, that me and Julian did together because we didn't. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. actually, our first ever one just me, just and, me you. and you. Yeah. yeah just and you like and him. Setting up our yeah. own camera and everything. But yeah. Second one I wasn't on. I mean, like I know, like there's another one that comes out after this, which was the George one. Yeah. That I also wasn't on. I know yeah. you guys like. I know you want me on it, but like yeah. sometimes I cannot, and uh, that's just how yeah. we do it. We don't exactly. I don't know if I remember the. I don't know if I remember the order of podcasts that come out after this, but we'll just list the ones that we have coming. Mm-hmm. So we have George Figueres, great guy again, NHL prospect. Yeah. How nice was that pod? Like that was yeah, that was one of our more formal podcasts. Very formal, very professional. You know, it's a guy yeah. who's yeah. about to make you know potentially make the NHL. We want it to be good, not ruin anything for anybody. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, great guy again. Want to do future videos with him? Um, after that, we had Carson <laughs> Moyer, who is Nick's buddy, D1 athlete. Utah uh, University, Utes, Utah Utes, Utah you University, um, yeah. D1 uh, lacrosse, Division One lacrosse player. Um, so sick again, learning about the whole stories about going across the border, yeah. playing mm-hmm. in America, being at a different school, away from home. Um, you guys are sleeping. Yeah, that was that a very cool already. episode. I didn't know yeah. like even like just more about him. I'm mean, like I know the yeah. guy because yeah. we hung out a couple Car- times, yeah, but like, I don't know the things like. Even I knew he did lacrosse, but then like just learning about like his sisters are athletes too and yeah, things yeah, like that. Yeah, that's like true. all over. I didn't even know that. Mm-hmm. So that's cool stuff to learn. Yeah. yeah, definitely. You know, just you know, knowing Carson for the amount of years I've known him, literally since I think grade eight, grade grade seven. Mm-hmm. You learn stuff too, probably. Yeah, yeah. like I, I, it's interesting. You know people your whole life, but do you ever talk yeah. to them for more than 10, 20 minutes at a time? Just yeah. them. Mm-hmm. Like that's something that a lot of people don't do. They don't even realize it. Like, sure, like you talk, you know, okay, what are we doing? How are we going downtown? Or, mm-hmm. you know, you go to dinner or whatever, you say a couple of things, or you go to a party, you say a few things, drunk things, you know. Yeah. But a lot of times with people, especially your friends, you don't actually talk to them for that long of a duration, mm-hmm. except for really your best friends, right? Yeah. So yeah. to get to talk to Carson a little bit more was cool for me. Uh, it was a really cool experience just getting to know a little bit more about like you know lacrosse and that whole thing and uh wish all the best for carson and uh yeah it's, what pod did we do after that one right after that was eric, eric nagy mm-hmm. eric nagy so that was cool yeah again we talked a little bit already about that yeah about what we did longest on that pod. one but amazing longest pod um, pizza had to be gotten what it was like 2 a.m yeah, yeah. Shout out to nick l for uh, helping us out getting the pizza man stuff for like sure. that yeah. that would have been our if if we didn't if we did the fusi pod we that would have been our latest pod before but for currently right now 12 a.m eric nagy's the latest pod and eric nagy, yeah eric nagy's supposed to be episode 30 so yeah. 30 episodes uh-huh. yeah yeah. insane and just hearing eric Nagy's story and you know just like where where he's at mentally and yeah. where he wants to go yeah. and all the funny stories he told us was really cool yeah so yeah that was another great one yeah. i yeah. forgot to mention too all the hockey videos would have already came out 10 and the fusi podcast kind of themed one would have already came out as well um, yes yeah. so I guess right after the Eric Nagy pod would drop, what what would drop? I guess like we never really talked exactly. about the Fusi Anyways, video, but like but we like, did a little bit, but we don't yeah, really have. Yeah, well, yeah, we yeah. know we talked about it. We talked on about that pod, video, yeah. we but, talked um, about the pod we didn't. Yeah, no, I mean, dude, this just gives these guys a perspective here a little bit of like how far we're filming this before <laughs> yeah, when yeah. it actually gets released, right? And right. they're watching it currently right now. It's like we got things backed up, man. Like that's just how it happens sometimes. Sometimes we're filming like a couple pods like within weeks and it's like we can't get them out because we got to work. You know what I mean? Yeah. I got like actual work to do during the day. Yeah. So it's like I got to work on this hockey video. It's tough. Like we've been start doing it now where we're releasing yeah. pods and a video every yeah, week. Yeah, that's the plan going so forward. It's yeah. just and that's kind of why it's kind of backed up is because yeah. we don't want to just strictly do a podcast. We want to do vlogs like finding yeah. food yeah. here. And I don't know if we want to leak this, but potentially other video ideas you want to do like some sort of cooking style thing or other sports yeah, stuff yeah, or yeah, you yeah. know we did the hockey videos so that kind of took backed up a bit lots so, of more videos happen well, well regardless i think the plan going forward which i think we all can agree on is to make more videos yeah and still continue the podcast yeah. mm-hmm, but mm-hmm, not really make mm-hmm. the podcast our only thing i yeah. think the hockey series was our first taste at that yeah. Yeah. and just testing out dropping a new video every single week while trying to drop a podcast yeah, 100%, a week. 100%. so now you know 
it's up to us to actually yeah. execute on that, make those podcasts, make those films, and all, and follow a schedule. Yeah. I think that's like a really difficult thing. That's it's a big way thing easier to, yeah. said than done yeah. to be able to continuously drop and make pods and make videos and actually yeah. do them and have the ideas. Yeah. It's not an easy thing. Yeah. So this year we're really going to give it our full all, try to see where we end up by the end of the year yeah. and kind of regroup. Um, I think it's going to be a lot more, a lot more content. Yeah. And like, this is kind of how we all started, man. We started doing by just vlogs and like dope challenge videos or whatever, or you guys had your own se series in high school, the Simi Valley, Spring Hill Valley or whatever. Um, so we're kind of putting that more into this content. You know, if, again, this is kind of cool that we're doing a recap because if you look back at our first ever episodes, this was mm -hmm. just strictly mm -hmm. a podcast. We we're talking about how you want to be a podcast, but now Whoa. you guys are seeing it kind of evolve and how to do we that. want to do fucking not just podcasts. We want to expand into more dope content like sports stuff, uh, different series, university, cooking. We want, cooking. I think the, what we want to do, honestly, is just get into every single craft. Yeah. You know, we're going to taste, we're going to test everything. Yeah. I think that's the big thing is like yeah. we're going to test the cooking, mm -hmm. test fucking playing golf, test, yeah. uh, you know, a different sport. You know, make an album. Fucking, I just yeah, dropped that bomb talk, on here. Talk about like, that too, man. like that's another thing. And like, we're we're not limiting ourselves into what we're gonna create. It's all gonna be on this channel. So this is gonna be the fucking channel to subscribe to. Yeah, everything's gonna be on here. Videos, pods, every idea we have is gonna go on this channel. It's gonna be crazy yeah. shit. It's gonna be dope. And that's just the whole thing that we got to do about this stuff, right? We did the Unmastered University. We was just like, let's go do it. Right, the Fusi vid, it was an hour. Let's go do it. And that's the whole thing about Unmastered is that we just do the things, right? We try everything out, all the different things, like you were saying before. Yeah, like, it, it, like Unmastered, the name, it's like, it's not mastered. It's not figured out. You know, not everything has to be figured out to the T. It's just about going out and trying it and seeing what you can do. And who knows, you might strike gold. Yeah. It might be the best thing ever. Yeah. Um, and that's what we're going to try to do all year in 2024 and the rest of 2023 is just keep going, keep trying new things, keep trying and pushing the envelope to make the best possible videos we can while maintaining our artistic integrity, trying to make stuff that we like yeah. so that you like it. You know what I mean? Like it's not just going to be shit yeah. that only you guys mm -hmm. like. You might like something a little bit more yeah. too. Like it's not, not a selfish thing, but like we're not just going to make stuff that we think is just going to get views. Yeah. We're going to make stuff that we are proud of and we can stand behind and say, this is good shit. Yeah. This is good content. Yeah. And if, know? like I said, if you're here from the beginning, just for the podcast, the podcasts are going to continue. Just now we have a whole bunch of other ideas. We want to expand to different yeah. types of content and uh, you guys are going to love it, man. Just try it out and it's going to be great. Yeah. Um, and yeah, a lot of what subscriber content. count are we at? We're at 13.6 thousand subscribers on YouTube, August 7th, 2023. And our goal by the end of the year is to be at about 20,000 to 25,000 subscribers, which is definitely attainable, maybe more. And uh, we'll watch this clip back when we achieve that goal. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, again, yeah, just it's just about just doing it like we said you know a lot of ideas everyone has ideas it's who actually makes it and executes on it so yeah but yeah and like i said you know you got some people that you know that want to make some stuff don't be afraid to make it i'm thankful to have these two guys here as part of unmastered and like i'm thankful that we even are a thing you know that like we can still make shit after all these years it's been fucking seven eight years of making content and the fact that we decided to stick together and pursue this together like a band, like a fucking team, is something that's so motivating to me that we are all buying in on this. And hopefully you guys can, you know, join along on our journey as we yeah. try to be the biggest content creators in the fucking world. Yeah. Like, I don't see why we can't at least get to that realm at some point as long as we keep working and we keep improving the way and the rate we've been improving. I don't see what's stopping us. Um yeah, just as long as we keep up uh, what we've been doing and, and continue to evolve, and I don't know what's what's going to stop 100%. us. Yeah, and not only, again, do we want to thank everyone who's visited this place, gave us ideas, been in the episodes, friends, family, all that kind of stuff. But we want to thank you guys out there, the people watching these videos, the people putting their money into our merch. Yes, and all the live viewers, all the people yeah. that found us from the live and watch our content now, buy the merch. I appreciate all the people from Unmastered Hockey who joined from Unmastered Hockey. Yeah. That's another thing why we do yeah. all this stuff. Just all these different type of people coming and watching this content, people who like creating something, people who have a passion in something, watching all this. 
to all the creators out there that supported us, helped us out, gave yeah. us resources, connections, like we talked about. Yeah. Thanks. I appreciate yeah. it. Yep. Thank all you. we can say is thank you to you guys, and we're going to continue doing this because it's what we love to do. It's what we want to do. Um, and yeah. Hey, there's an easy route for us to to easily not do this stuff. Like yeah. we can go get jobs and live a regular life, mm-hmm. and that's cool, but we envision a bigger purpose yeah you know i think that's the thing for us it's like we we want to do such great things we want to make feature films albums you know donate charity money you know like be able to like make an impact on our communities Mm -hmm. and the people who support us in a positive way and that's why we're going to pursue this it's not just to get clicks likes follows and although that's very appreciated Mm -hmm. it's to change the world around us for the better in whatever way we can so we're gonna do that we're we're setting out to do that and these videos are all stepping stones and you know part of that process and i can't wait to meet the people we haven't met yet i can't wait to do the videos we haven't done yet Mm -hmm. and i'm excited for you guys to watch and and consume our content that we're about to make and i think you guys are going to be proud of it i'm looking forward to it and i think the sky's the limit for us yeah and there you have it guys i think we're going to wrap it up there um like we said before if you guys want to check out the merch go check it out at shopamaster.com subscribe to the channel go check out our instagram master podcast and mastered hockey we also have a shop on mastered instagram page yep. go check out our tiktok on master podcast all that stuff man appreciate the support like and comment not only on our youtube videos but like and comment on our reels our tiktoks all of our clips all that kind of stuff and yeah it all means so much to us every yeah. interaction you know, means yeah. a lot. So. Yeah, if you guys want, DM us, man. We respond, whatever you want. You have a conversation, whatever. Yeah. If you're a creative out there that wants to be on our podcast, DM us. We're always looking for new, great yeah, people. So. And uh, and yeah, I guess that's basically it. Last time in this studio, oh. you guys, you know, great memories Crazy. here. Take a, take a screenshot, whatever look, it is. Look around. <laughs> look look around. around. Actually, it's kind of sad. Oh. Yeah. It's pretty sad. Um, but, you know, on to new oh, and yeah. better, bigger, better things. You'll see the new studio soon. Maybe we snap it real quick. Transition. It's going to be dope for sure. <laughs> and, yeah, uh, you know, it's uh, it's going to be fun. I'm so. out. Yeah. Peace. Peace, guys. Peace.